Look, if you want to move better, you want to feel better, you want to really be OG with this CrossFit stuff. If you do CrossFit and you love this CrossFit stuff, don't just do CrossFit. Learn CrossFit. Go get your level one today. This year, my New Year's resolution is to take the L1 course. You should go get your L1 too. Walking through an affiliate door changed my life forever. Take your CrossFit level one, it will yours. Not because you have to, but because you should. It's not about having bigger voices in the space. It's about having more of them. So join us. Been out here yet? No. I do listen to your podcast. Oh, thank you. Please don't. Thank you. Where's Rich's, uh, Rich say? You know where Rich is right now? Rich, Rich who? <laughs> if you have nanos on, you click your heels together three times. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this place is pretty quiet. People sleep in here, huh? Uh, let's see. Did you get my text? Uh, no, my. Hey, buddy. My phone's hooked up to uh, Spotify right now. Okay, I just texted you. Where are you? Um, I'm here. I'm here. I saw I saw three coffees walking around with Nicole, and I was like, shit, that must mean somebody's in the vicinity. Yep. It's like when you see a fin in the water, you know? <laughs> Great dedication and focus. But there's, that dog is a weak link in the uh, Jason Grubb. There's no way that a world-class athlete like yourself should be, should be, oh my God, you're so sweet. Oh my God. You should be sleeping or something or doing curls or- I got no extra time. Using, <laughs> using you know, the You grip. just gotta do what you gotta do. Love the campground. Even competing at your level? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's so convenient. Like in five minutes, I'm gonna walk to the warm-up area. That's it. Yeah. So I don't have to. Yeah, I have my food. I have everything I need. I like it. You're kind of living this kind of dream dialed in lifestyle, huh? Yeah. That everyone wants to do. Live in a camper, travel around. Yep. Work Just out. Gym to gym, travel wherever I'm at is home. Yeah. Um, and it's it's great. It's like ninety percent great. Ten percent, dude. You just need a little more room in your life. You know, yeah. Yeah, I have nine you? new pairs of shoes. I've got no room for that. Right. Um, kids, that tours. Yours too, right there? No. Oh. Just this one. The one with the balcony? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. No, isn't dude. that great? Oh, you have kids in there too. Yeah, two kids. So when you're like walking through the floor, like you wear like Crocs or flip flops always so you don't break your toe. And that's where like just a little, a little breathing room would be amazing. Yeah, because. What are you guys doing right now? Oh, we're getting a tour of the, uh, what is this called? The Premier Partner uh, Routes to Navigate the CrossFit Games so that we're legal. So you're learning the rules and engagement? Yeah. So that we can break them. No, just kidding. We're not going to break them. We're following the rules. He did say, um, he said, do you want to know what content we're putting out? You know, of course, everybody's putting out something. Right? Well, we have a video going out in 10 minutes. Yeah, I wanted to say, well. I was scared. I was, I was scared he was going to say, you can't do that. And then just be like, well, we just went live. And there will be people over here that are ready to open the door for you. So if you stay to the left a little bit, I know you're going to be, I know you're going to be running. We're not going to be at that pace on Saturday from athlete warm up. <laughs> so as you're hustling this way, stay to the left a little bit. You'll be much faster heading straight down the stairs that are inside there. Did you get all that? No. I was too busy fiddling with my mic. <laughs> oh, and we call ourselves the North, North Park, Park Ninjas, Ninjas because we're quiet, we're fast, we're professional, and we get the job done. <laughs> Sound great! <laughs> right. right! I didn't know he was there. I didn't know. You're like a ninja. <laughs> my first podcast, I started with you. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> What age group? Next, she should be going right now, lane six. How'd she do yesterday? She did good. She did good. She's so she second right now. Thanks she's for all the second. support all the time. Hey, always. I'm sure. Love you lots. Some olive oil in her store. I know you guys should. I'm yeah. gonna.
Yeah, he's, he's, he's independent, so you can sell them in the grocery stores. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Let me get it going. And then I'll start, I'll start, we'll communicate. Yeah. So like the whole thing is really close to the ranch. Like, I'm not growing it on the ranch, because all the world trees take a while to cultivate. But I'm sourcing it locally, getting it processed locally. And then the guy who processes it, processes it will also tin it, or can it. And then now figuring out uh, website and distribution. So, still have a ways to go. The plan, awesome. Bill wanted to sell some here, but I wasn't able to pull it off. I wasn't able to get it ready quick enough. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, How you been? Good, how are you? Good job. Four for four? Yeah. Just got her done. But. How come, how come she's walking like that? That sucked. That was a lot of legs. This whole week has been a lot of legs, and we're not getting any breaks with the events coming, so it's going to be tough. My focus for the next few years is to crack the individual field at a young age. So this year of training has really been like, we took my failures in quarterfinals and tried to like perfect them so that next year we can make it to a semifinal. So that's what most of my training looked like this summer. And just along the way, like when your weaknesses get better, you become more well-rounded and it just helps overall. Okay. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> a race I got horse. this stud. He found me two years, three years ago. What a little racehorse you In my got. last year, 21 training, and he's like, um, Miss Griffith, can I train with you? And I'm like, first off, don't call me Miss Griffith. Call me Jess. And yeah, you can train with me. That's freaking metal blast. You got a Clydesdale. When, so then when Jess uh, stopped competing in 2021 and had kids, I started training with Christine. And Jess this year was like, uh, we, we asked her if she'd be willing to coach me. And she did. So that's what we've been doing. And she's my coach this year. And I've loved it. So. Wow, I didn't know she had kids. That's awesome. Yeah, she got one and then one more on the way. I mean, it's kind of weird to call him a, a, a child, but what's the difference between training a child and uh, an adult? Just, I mean, he's making like exponential progress. Like, he's just skyrocketing right now. And so, being mindful of, we can't really like, he doesn't really have baselines because he's just every session he's getting better and better. So, just being mindful of that. Um, and you're really training just the foundation, his mindset, um, training, you're really like solidifying the movement patterns. It's like we're practicing perfection whether we got an empty barbell or 260 barbell. Um, so it's just, it's, and it's been fun to just take everything that I learned over the last eight years and like literally just like out for it into somebody else and helping them avoid the mistakes I made and learn teaching him everything that my coaches taught me and yeah. It's, it's amazing. Now, what I wanted to tell you is that every now and then a social post, it really resonates, it really hits home. And you did a, a, a conversation with Coach Glassman. And the conversation had to do with the opportunity that CrossFit has created for people to live a life. A life that's filled with passion and happiness versus a daily grind sitting behind the desk working for a man. And it was so... Right, it was, it was a very unselfish attitude of, of these people that are doing online programming that are doing programs that are centered around our methodology, but they are creating a life for themselves in that segment of business. And that unselfishness of, look, we could possess this and keep it all to ourselves, but that's not what CrossFit's about. We are a community, and what we're gonna do is we're going to allow people to branch out into their own individual space so that they can live this life that we ourselves within CrossFit are living. And that was something that's big. To, to sit there and, and have a behavior like that where you're not just trying to take everything for yourself. You know, there's a lot of vampires out there and you walk away from those vampires in your train. That, I watched it and it was really uplifting that that was the spirit of the company when he formed it. And I loved it. I remember like seeing you in the airport and I was yeah, so worse for you. There. We just sat we, there. Yeah, like we this. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, was that like You were doing better than I was. <laughs> I well I drink more than you typically. I'm there it is. <laughs> I, I have 
higher inoculation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. I know. I'm going to go with this guy. All Thanks right, for somebody. saying hi. Yeah. Hi, Simone, by the way. Yeah, are you good? Yeah. I'd hug you, but I don't want We're that camera out of my We're face. There. Get that camera out of my face. Okay. This guy's yeah, back in sure. the Yo, know, this doesn't. You know the thing about it is, Savon? Where did you for me, this is, Yeah, for me, this yeah, is yeah, super yeah. normal. Yeah. Having you uh, with the camera at the games is super normal. So it's good to have you here. I it's good to be here, by the way, for myself. I remember, I'm paraphrasing what you said, but you said at one point in time as an athlete, you'd be like, I can either trip or I can go with it. I'm going to go with it. In regards to me. Oh, with the, with the camera? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. You got to roll with it. It's a good thing too, man. You look back on some of this content and like, you, you know, hindsight's always 2020, but I look back to some of the content from like 10 years ago. I'm like, dude, those were super cool memories that Savon captured of me. And if you weren't there in my face, I wouldn't have had those things for the rest of my life. So I was like, a moment. Jesus, He's got a phone in there. <laughs> you love talking about my butthole. Yeah, man. You're into that kind of shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you guys aren't even gonna be able to use any of your shit. No, it's the web. You can use it all. <laughs> My perspective shifted on it. What are you doing? I'm going to be helping uh, commentate. So I'm doing the adaptive and age groups, and then I'm also going to be on the, the desk show. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Just trying to, yeah. Do I get fired up? You know, I just want to, well, you, 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 you and Adrian were amazing. Dude. The, uh, uh, on the, the yeah, yeah him and, yeah. Oh, hey. We gotta be. We're gonna. We're gonna get a. We gotta get a special show for them, man. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get like. We gotta bring it back. I don't even know what we call it. Conway and Kaliba. Hey. <laughs> just, just Conway and Kaliba. That's Conway it. Conway and Kaliba show. That's it. Hey, you guys can just watch old footage. Kaliba. Hey, you guys can just watch old footage. Just like. If he's out there, I could get his opinion on what happened, what was behind the scenes. Yeah. When what you, you think when you watched the what, final workout in 2008, when, when you passed out, when amazing. you passed out in 2009, how did that make you feel? Or when you were doing these chasers with the studs? I'd love it. We can do it. We can do it, man. We can do it. You know, the 08 games will never repeat itself. Because of the way the events were structured, uh, it just can't happen again because they're all similar time domains. But that was a cool way to finish it off. That's crazy. Yeah. Listen, I got I got one fish to fry with you, Savon. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Come on, man, listen. 2016. Oh boy, here the, we go. The mayhem, <laughs> listen, the mayhem had all this behind the scenes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Love. I know, I know Rich is your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich is my boy too. Yeah. I like yeah. Rich. Yeah, yeah. Who love Rich. Rich. But we put a team together in 2017 oh. just to go. beat the mayhem. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. No coverage. No. Savon wasn't behind dirty. the scenes. I was looking for the cameras. I was like, okay, yeah, this is. We want these stories. We want. We want to get these stories. And nothing. Guilty. Guilty. Nothing. We're on top of the program. What, what can we do? Hey, he's been holding that in. Sin. He's yeah. been holding that in for seven oh, years. Like, yo, I need to. I need to bring this up to him. Yes. I, I'm sorry. Okay. What was the workout? What was it? Yeah. Um. Oh, the handstand walking, box jumping. GHDs, pistols, toast of bar, pistols. How old are you? 57. Yeah. Being upside down doesn't bother you? No. Do you like competing? No. No. No, I'm one of those people who don't like competing, but I just do it because it's a challenge and it's something I don't like and we gotta do hard things in life. Yeah. And that's how we get better. That's what they say. Yeah. So I'm on a mission to be better, but you know, competing is not a very comfortable thing for me to do. I love training. So you're I'll doing train forever. You're doing the competition to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. This is to face fears and just. Yes. Wow. It's yes, it's like doing the cold plunge. Badass. Yeah, wow. it's like I don't like this. Uh -uh. Yeah. Not at all. But, you know. I'll give you a pleasure, and uh, are you able to give me the, your T-shirt? Sure. Yeah. 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 You want just this one? Of course. So please make sure that you are changing and you're opening the ceremony here. Oh, no. Edith, you gotta tell me your name. Uh, Go ball. Uh, I'm heading by. And it's you gotta wear it. I won't do it. He's gotta put it on, right? Right after I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I told him if he wants it, you gotta wear it. <laughs> now you can't go out on the floor. Do you wanna run the 5K? What's your 5K time? Uh, <laughs> Can we pass, you think? Uh, two years, two years ago, I won the run. Four, three, three, seven, seven rounds. Seven rounds. Like this. The five, uh, three, three point one miles. What do you? What would you run that? Uh, uh, two years ago. Then whatever. Uh, now, right now, if I send you out to run three point one. Oh, I'm running like three fifty per kilometer. So it's like a 
5.30 per mile. Let's put them in, 5.30 per mile? <laughs> yeah. I don't think we'll put a hat on you, no one will know the difference. I won, I won the hat. <laughs> do you have kids? I have three boys, just Ooh. like you do. Uh-huh, three boys. Whoa. I love my three boys, but and they're like 24, 26, and 30 now. Are they here? No. Do they know what mom's doing? Oh yeah, they yeah. know what I'm doing and they're very proud. But they're not here, no. Like one of them is having a baby like any day and it hopefully will make it back in time. And then one of them is moving out to Yale. He just got into the Yale um, 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 master's program of theater. Wow. That wow. was his life's dream and he he's a hard worker like yeah. his mom. Yeah. So he made it. And then my other son is working, uh, just living his good life. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I Busy. look forward to having you on the podcast. Yeah. I look forward to being on the podcast, Savan. <laughs> I wanted to put that on. <laughs> so one thing to do, I, I said if you want it, you gotta put it on. <laughs> and I'm glad he didn't ask. I'm glad he didn't ask me for my pants. <laughs> That's next. Or my. That's next. I've gotten Instagram messages. For Scott songs. can't say. Scott can't say no. When I'm watching a CrossFit event, one of the worst things I want to hear is. Where did that guy come from? I'm like, <laughs> your job's to tell me where that guy came from. I'm like, I'm telling you, when I went into my pistols on my left knee, I was not able to get to parallel. But I did, yeah, very cool. <laughs> Those are cool, they didn't send me those yet. You want those? Yeah. Okay. They usually send me yeah, everything. Green or red? <laughs> you guys wear the same size? Those. I want those. You I'm going to eBay them. Alright, okay. They're always sold I'm out. Gonna <laughs> I'm going to eBay them. I'm going to eBay them. Craigslist? I don't know, one of those things? eBay. Oh. Skype? eBay is like a hidden gem. Skype? No. <laughs> no. That's what we platform. do. Wrong platform. Wrong. You don't Skype me. You used to Skype me. <laughs> <laughs> Skype? That's because I Zoom me at FaceTime. Oh, you know that Starbucks? You want one? No. I'll send some out again. What is that? It's a ground ass oh, yeah. on it. Oh, yeah. oh, I see a little, little pickup. A little pick you up? Is it good? Yeah. Good. I don't need a pickup, but I, I like it. What are you doing? Are you working right now? No, I'm hanging out with you. Hmm. I'm going to uh, sit in on your brief to make sure it's. Goes smooth. It's really cool to see you back. Thanks. I, I enjoy that. hearing your voice. Thank you. In the, in the briefing, it was really cool. Appreciate that. It felt good. Yeah. It's fun. I think you guys are doing one right now, right? Oh, oh agree? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. it. I think it's 245. You're talking to your ass, right? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Then, my bad. Is it clear? <laughs> Permission granted? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the man behind the fucking camera. You didn't see him the entire time? You've been talking? <laughs> He's literally oh my been God, there. Oh, it's just so silly. You know why? Right from you. Because she's been mesmerized by me. She I have. So, like, I have. Head. I want my attention to be on you. Yeah. But now my attention can be on two people. Well, yeah. it, this is the quietest you've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, for uh, real. Uh, you are sneaky. You are being sneaky. He wanted to make me feel comfortable, so I said whatever. Didn't care who was behind the camera. So we got an Airbnb with a CrossFit Kilo 2's team. Ali and I did. This is last year? Yeah, last year. And it was just like um, just like someone's home that they put up for the weekend. And Ali and I ended up in the kids' room on like this tiny bed. It was like, felt like you're just laying on cardboard. So we got our own hotel this year. Got a king size bed and sleeping a lot better for sure. And like their AC unit I think like was the, like, I think the boys are, it was like the kids' room and then a wall and then their utility room. So yeah, like their AC unit was squeaking all night. So it's way better than this year. You think it was the AC unit that was squeaking? Yeah, we went in there and looked at it. We were trying to figure out how to make it stop. Bring it up again, how is I mean, it's hurting, but um, it is what it is right now. I don't think it's gonna affect like my um, lifts on the Olympic lifts or my running at all. It's just a little bit of pain to deal with. It's like the NFL. That, um, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta take a note from you. The uh, like ski NFL. bag workout. Yeah. I like that one. You do like that. Yeah, I'm, I like sandbag squats a lot. I like any squats. 
and um, my ski abilities have gotten a lot better over the last year, so I'm excited for that event. Are you getting ready for the uh, <laughs> Yeah. Ready for that Warming up for that. Yeah. Big thing's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta crush it. Is that your coach there? Yeah, this is Whitney. Hi, Whitney. How are you? Good, I'm awesome. Whitney, you look so familiar. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A lot of people confuse me for Beyonce. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Now does it, now does it ring it. a bell? You, you know who it is? Do you know who it is that you remind me of? Who? Uh, do you know Talena Fortunato? I've heard that before, yeah. yeah. Like you, I mean, not that you look like her, but you'd be a relative of her. You know I've, heard, I mean? I've heard that. I've yeah. heard Becca Boyd. I've heard... Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. you said to me oh, last yeah. time. <laughs> I've heard both of those. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Okay. But have you been at the games all the time? Like, around the scene? Yeah, I've been around a few times. Okay. Team? <laughs> um, I was in it as an individual a few times. How many? Uh, three. Which year? 15, 17, 18. Okay. I probably saw you in 15 and 17. Oh, Chubb, why are you warming up for the... Uh, <laughs> you I'm just moving up? a little bit. I've been yeah. sitting around all day, so kind of felt like I just needed to sweat a little bit. What do you think about the scene here? You've been here for a couple days. <sighs> it's fine. It's... I'm definitely like introverted, so I'm just kind of like not in my element. I'm more in my element, just like on the floor, I think. So I'm not much of a talker. <laughs> Everyone's talking and chatting, and I'm just chilling, I'm just kind of in my little bubble. <laughs> How is Miss Shelby? She coached all the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think the the hardest part is making Shelby believe in her the way that everybody else believes in her. So yeah. as soon as she you know, gets it through her thick skull that yeah. she can do everything she puts her mind to. It's pretty much unstoppable. So yeah, it's, 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 you're amazing. Yeah. It's, it's clear you. watching you move. You're amazing. Yeah. Roman, uh, Ivan. Yeah, no. Hello. <laughs> how, do you, how, how do you say hello in Russian? Привет. Eh? Привет. Привет. Rosa, will you translate for Roman, or will he understand? Uh, yeah, he will, but it's better with me. <laughs> There's some little details, just little details. He's, he understands most of it. No. No. I heard none of the athletes ask questions to Vino Bell in the last one. All of them, dude. He, he complains more than anybody else, though. So, you should get that on film. Jason asked if he could come out to our bike trail and ride. I told him no. I love you, Pat. What? You asked if you could come ride the bike yesterday. No, I asked if there was gravel around your park. What is that? No gravel. Uh, I, don't need, I don't need to ride on grass. Anyways, yes, Pel Belner would ask all the questions. Your confidence level this year compared to last year? Not even close. Yeah. Ten times. You feel like you're at home? Okay, bye. I wouldn't say at home, Bye, Dad. Um, but ten times better. It's gonna be fun, dude. It is, is it gonna be fun? <laughs> not for me. It hey, sucks. Why not? It's you fucking make, stressful, you dude. Look like a little bite size. He is a little. Bite what do we size. make you look like? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm adorable. I didn't know, dude. I didn't know how small you were, bro, until yeah. I saw you, bro. He's what not I, that small. What did I say to you when I first saw you? I think you called me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said you're a real life bitch. Oh, real life, life, life bitch? You're a real life bitch. Real life bitch, yeah. You know, he holds my form. Like, you're not going to get any good jokes out of him. No. What do you mean? I just said a good joke. Just a little. Mom, where's your coach? I have no idea. Is he coming? Right there. Waiting for you. I oh, know he's a big daddy. He looks like a oh man, nah, there he is. All right, I gotta go. He looks like a little bite size too. <laughs> My bite size. <laughs> Everyone makes me do it. Everyone makes me do it. I don't oh, even want to do it. I bet. They, gotta, they go. You have to. Do it. They go. You have the T-shirt. You have to do it now. I want to shave it. But it's like it's bad luck. It's like my playoff stash. You know what I mean? Don't, like, like, don't let people peer pressure you. I mean, they made the shirt. They put Dre made the shirt, and I feel bad. That looks so good. Does that look good? Hey, it looks, looks great. It says the two guys with mustaches. Does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll keep your questions specific to the workout and to the part that we're in. It'll help expedite this process. I don't want to keep you in these bleachers any longer. 
then we actually question, but I don't want to ask it because I don't want to. No, I don't think I'm going to ask it. What is it? What is the question? I want to know if I can wear padding in my butt for the bike event. But I don't want to ask because then I. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do it? Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> my butt's just this big. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's real. It's all natural. All right. Good job, but I know I'm frustrated. You guys are good, but I just want to make that clear. Like, it's going forward. I thought the bike was better than I thought it would be. I, th yeah. I thought that was going to be the biggest problem. Yeah. Um, all right. Good. Cool. And um, he has all the knowledge. Try to get it. If we don't get it, like, let's maybe rethink the structure of this, you know what I mean? Yep. There might be on some of these more complex ones, don't put any of this in. There might be in some of these more complex ones, Yeah. Are we going to see some yeah, where we should keep the slow-mo cameras rolling? Are we going to see some nice wipeouts? Yeah. Well? yeah, today is what hard. it was hard because, yeah, just go and no warm-up and a lot of people uh, looks me yeah. and a little bit stressful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my shoulder was very full after the keeping push-up. Yeah. But we tried before, it was better because I warm, I was warm, yeah. So cool. Are we going to see athletes fall off yeah. from the high part? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some cra good crashes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we, we're going to see a lot of crashes. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Sure. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Yo. Gals. Hello. Guys. Are we going to see some like epic wipeouts from the top of the... Uh... From the stairs? Yeah. That'd be sick. Like it's like, <laughs> where we should keep the slow mo rolling. Like I think, I think maybe so. if they try to do like a pirouette like Victor, there's gonna be wipeouts. I think That's they stay the in their way. lane. I, if they stay in their lane, they'll be fine. I mean, you have to go up there and do a 360. I mean, I have to imagine there's gonna be some. Especially for the guys, because it's it's pretty narrow, right? It for is you kind guys of, yeah, it's on that it was narrow for me. It's yeah. Narrow, so. um, but he's he he moves very pretty, so he can. Yeah, he makes it look so easy. They're like, oh yeah, just like that. What percentage of the shit do you say to this guy that you think he understands on the first go? Uh, 40? 45%. Oh, wow. I'd say higher. I really? Have to, I have to translate yeah. often. Yeah. For me, we communicate well. I feel like we're on the same page. Most or do you think just you just, or do you think just you're just... Just with a look? Lost conversation is bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's about it. <laughs> the boys are on. The boys, boys are on. on. The boys are fucking on. <laughs> Are you from France or Canada? France. France, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. disrespect. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So they flew you in from France, from France? Yeah? Yeah, France. Francais. Francais, yeah. Francais, yeah. Right. I'm gonna go with 40%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah gymnastics work. I like it. Yeah. Usually it's like too sprinty. If you make like one or two mistakes, you're done. Yeah. But this time, of course, there will be mistakes even like Victor was like pure gymnast. He wanted to go unbroken and he yeah. made mistake. Also, even after three pullovers, he made mistake. Because right. after, when you when we did like practice, it, you did three or three or four pullovers, your head is so dizzy. So after 16, you can jump on the box and try and be lucky, or you can really like you know relax, rest, and then try. Because everyone will be dizzy. How many pictures have you taken? Maybe like 50. You're still, you're still cool with it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, what? That's, that's what makes it so I can keep doing this, you know? Yeah, good point. Where are you going? Yeah. I'm walking with you. Ballet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Ballet said, hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Get the soft pills, get the soft pills. <laughs> where is, uh, where is Ballet? Here. Oh. Right? You're, you're going by yourself? Where's your car? I know, I don't know where my entourage is. Oh, right there. Look at him. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. What did you think of that? What did you think of that? It was good. Smooth. A lot of rookies asking dumb questions, but whatever. What about a lot of veterans asking dumb questions? No. No? No. Oh, the veterans were asking good questions. The rookies were asking yeah. dumb questions. Yeah. yeah. They weren't clear on some things, but whatever. That's always, always it. All right. Good, faster than than I thought they would be. Yeah, thank God, right? Yeah, thank God. Do you enjoy any of that stuff? Uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, we get to hang out, talk to each other. So that's fun. No, no, no. That'll be, that'll be, there, there's going to be plenty of workouts for that. Plenty of time for that. Where's your hotel? Is it like close? I have an Airbnb. It's like nine minutes. And I have a room at the Clarion, too. Yeah, Rad. Rad hooked it up. Yeah. Um, they said if you need another spot. Uh, you like yeah. you like your housemates? Everyone's cool. Yeah, there's like 15 of us. If you didn't like someone, would you? Yeah, absolutely. You'd be like, hey, dude, you're not. Uh, work, you're not. Yes. You're not working with the DBE. Exactly. I'd be like, get away, cling on. Um, and <laughs> lots of it's true. Lots of cling ons. Any, 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 uh, yeah. No, it's with broke. Yeah. A year's worth of training with them. Yeah, and we were, I was talking about that earlier. Last year I had like two or three weeks with Brute. It was like only two, three weeks before the games, which is crazy. Now I've had a whole year. And what would you say uh, different Daniel Brandon this year than last year? Yeah, just much more prepared. Ready for even shitty workouts, like we're going to have a good game plan. Um, that, uh, the, the pullovers. Yeah. Do you, after 16, do you do, you do a, like a... No. 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 I'll be fine. Upside down, right side, upside yep. down. I don't give a fuck. Would you tell Danielle to just put the brakes on and do a check? So you know what's funny is uh, with the athletes that can do big sets of pullovers, they actually get dizzy. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Uh, you know, strategizing, it's, it's wild, but strategizing behind that is going to be a little bit different than the other athletes of where it's just like save your arms. Yeah. I'll see you like I'll see you in like maybe like five six minutes there because I gotta wait for Micah. I don't even know. That's your G. Like, it's like pretty. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's a hell of a rental. Pocket's good, I think. Oh, Great. Does that work? Yeah, no problem with me. <laughs> Do I have to turn it on now? It's on. It's on. Great. It's not speeding so anything. Not, right. You say whatever you want. You're safe. Whatever I've heard I all want. the NDAs. <laughs> Don, are you nervous? A little bit. I always get a little, little bit of butterflies before. I do a little bit of the, like, what am I going to say in my head, so. I think anyone's up there going to be like, Don, let's see your air squat. <laughs> let's hope not. <laughs> I, I'm cool with the air squat. If there's an overhead squat, I'm I'm out, so. Uh, yeah. what, what is this? What's going on? Well, we're doing the first, so we're doing the opening press conference. So it's a chance for us. Dave and I are going to essentially welcome the press, say a few words, talk a little bit about uh, a year in review. This is, yesterday was uh, a year for me, so. We'll talk a little bit about that, what what the games means for us, and then Dave will talk a little bit about uh, what's going on. And we have an exciting announcement that we're going to share today, so we're fired up for that. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, exactly. I was in Vendor Village, and two of the vendors came up to me and said they, they've been here like going across the beach for like seven years, and they've never seen it like this in the first two days. Are you guys experiencing some sort Same. of like epic... Yeah, so the first couple of days have been incredible. We saw kind of record number of affiliates, uh, coaches check in at, uh, at our affiliate location, and I also talked to a number of uh, vendors who said they, they saw yesterday, Tuesday, the numbers that they saw on Sunday last year, last day of the game. So uh, let's hope it keep ramping up. I think it's a great signal. Congratulations. Last year at this time, was your was that true that it was your first day of work at the Crossing Game? It literally yesterday... Last year uh, was my first day. I mean, talk about deer in the headlights. Uh, insane. It was an amazing week. I almost keeled over. I made it till Sunday, and I just about passed out. But it was 
I mean, does uh, is there a better first we uh, week of work ever than that? Are you getting to enjoy it more this year? It's a mixed bag, to be honest. You know, last year I was kind of blissfully like, I had nothing to do with any of this. I'll just soak it all in. This year, I have a much deeper appreciation for what it takes to actually pull this off. The and extraordinary guess, amount of work. I guess a little more sense of responsibility. 100%. That's right? exactly yeah, right. Okay, okay. Like, look, we want everything to be perfect. And that's not possible. So when the little things on the margin don't go perfect, like, I think we all feel a sense of ownership for that. Um, how long have you been doing CrossFit? I've been doing it for nine years now. It'll be a decade next year. I'm psyched. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, thank you. Thanks yep. for being here. Yep. Appreciate it. All good. Give us some space, please. Like, give us a lot of space. So we literally finalized and signed this contract about an hour ago. I might have been a little anxious about whether or not it would close before this. Um, I just want to say a huge thanks. We've had folks on our team hustling and working really hard uh, for the last couple months when this opportunity presented itself to make it happen because we think this is one of the most powerful things that we can do to elevate this community, elevate this sport, reach more people. Over the course of the last years, I've gotten a chance to meet thousands of people from our community. I always ask folks, hey, where did it start for you? Where did your journey with CrossFit start? For a lot of people, they talked about turning on ESPN back in the day and seeing the games. I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I am so scared. Not scared, not excited. Anxious, titillated, up for the challenge. We'll do the Open together. If you're an affiliate and you have shitloads of signups, it's gonna be my honor to have you on my podcast. If I like you, you'll be a regular on the podcast. I want to uh, do my part to help humanity uh, be fitter, be braver, do better for themselves so they can do better for other people. I think doing the Open makes me a better person. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I want to be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I want to do something that supports uh, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. I don't even want to do it. I'm scared to do it. But I know it's the right thing to do, so I'm going to do it. Three weeks are over, and I'm gonna be titillated, proud of myself. I'm gonna think I'm the shit because I completed it. And like I said, the affiliates that have the most participation, hit me up in the DMs, hit Souza up, and I'd love to have you guys on the show and do my part in helping uh, support you guys and reward you guys for what you're doing for uh, your clients. See you on the leaderboard. <laughs>